This is Playmobil and this is set 6382 and 6381, the three Hawk Knights and the leader of the Hawk Knights. The leader of the Hawk Knights is right here in the front. You used to be able to buy these from the catalog, the add-on catalog. By spending just 15 bucks, you have four awesome brand new characters. This is the 2015 United States catalog, and here is the add-on catalog right inside of it. And if you turn to page 14, there it is, the Hawk Knights, set 6382 for 399 and set 6381. For $10.99. There is no box for this set, but you do get awesome characters. It just adds up to your collection. This flag that comes with this awesome knight, now all of a sudden you have two flags and it fits right there on the two poles from the attack tower. This is one of the characters and this is the weapon that comes with. It won't stop on his hand. It's slightly too loose to hold this weapon, not just a, this hand. So this specific character here, just mine, yours probably not going to have the same problem just mine just have the hands slightly defective uh, see no matter what hand I use it just falls true and I'm noticing the same thing for hats some Playmobiles they, they just can't keep the hat on their heads I don't know how Playmobil can address this defect I'm not an engineer for for the sake of the review I'll leave the spear on the floor he can hold the sword real good don't worry about that the sword works so here is one of the characters he looks pretty awesome he has a nice beard look at that the shield is one of my favorite shields a tower shield and if you rotate the wrist of the character you can hold that shield sideways on the side of the character or you rotate all the way. His whole body is protected against attacks. You can barely get that man unless you go right into the neck here and cut his face. You can even play with strategies here. Maybe he is holding the shield on the back and he can't be attacked from the back. If you put his weapons aside, you can see that he's a pretty cool looking character. He has some plates on his back there, a belt, chain mail as his hair. Next we have the archer. He has a small little buckler, which is a round shield. Look at that. That's the way you hold it. And a cool looking long bow. The the arrows are right here on his back it's a nice looking quiver with red arrows and for the times he wants to just go melee he has a large axe right there on the back so i like to make this guy the axe yielding man look at that he's yielding an axe and he looks just awesome if you put your bow and arrow on top of the quiver in between now he carries that bow like an extra secondary weapon if you remove his helmet and his shield and weapon you can see he has an armor plate right there on the chest that goes a little bit back onto his back also shoulder plates that you can remove and then put it back and hence comes this sword master so this guy has a sword a shield made for a sword knight he holds a vintage sword and a little dagger just in case he loses the sword in battle and he needs something to keep himself alive unfortunately the sword does not rotate so it's always going to be held like that you can rotate the wrist though and have any pose and position that you prefer if you remove his weapons you can see he has a very long hair some beard on that face look at that and this armor protects his mouth maybe he's a mute maybe he's just afraid of being hit on the jaw the armor plate goes all the way around his shoulders and chest plated leggings protecting most of his legs and some cuffs and these are all the three characters hawk knights from the add-on service and so comes the leader now my leader's flag is missing the other side. I don't know why, but I think Playmobil forgot to print on the other side. You use it as a flag to showcase your coat of arms. And, and now he is one awesome knight with a sword. His hands are also doing that thing where it barely hold that shield. The one thing that I don't like about these armors, they have the most heavy armor that there is. Unfortunately, because it's so heavy and it's in one piece, when you put anything on their hands and you try to rotate too much, the armor piece comes off because the wrist cannot rotate. I don't think there is anything that Playmobil could have done other than maybe separate these pieces and make the lower part of the arm rot rotatable, but then I don't know how that would work. But that's just something to be aware of that you just cannot rotate the sword 
further than this. You rotate any further than that and the armor piece from the arm will fall off. But it's okay, you can hold it like this. A pretty old ancient man with long beard and he's missing an eye. He has an eye patch. This is the back, he has nothing on his back pretty much. Roman style armor plate. And if you remove the arms, you get to see that he has some sort of red vest that doesn't have sleeves because the sleeves are black. And here are all the accessories that you get with this set. Remember, there are two sets, the leader and the three knights. You have a longbow, an axe, four shields, each different. Just these two are the same. A quiver, a long jousting flag, wrist cuffs here, gloves, plated gloves, plated gloves, and big plated gloves, arm plated gloves. There are four helmets, each is very different. A little dagger, sword, sword, and sword, each different as well, and a spear. Don't forget the plated shoulder pads right here. And that's all. Different kinds of sword holsters. These guys, if you know playing with you, you know these come off. And then on the back of these characters, this one guy here that has that holder for a big axe or a spear as well as one on top here for the quiver there you go that's it and here are all the hawk knights that i reviewed so far the ones that come with the castle the one that comes with the add-on service that i just reviewed i also include the ones that came with the cannon the farmer horseman so we have the castle the cannon the farmer horseman so you can see that the hawk knights has a lot to collect there's also a duo pack that gives you another hawk character and another lion knights character that i need to review that as well so you have a lot of hawk knight characters plus a king that comes in a surprise packet from the series is 13. If you look there on his shirt, it's the Hawk Knights. And there you have all the sets all put together, all the characters, all the knights from the Hawk Knight sets, including the add-on towers. Here's all of them inside the castle and the tower. Overall, it's an awesome set. Looks like the king and queen of the Royal Lion Knights are coming in to visit. They have a pretty massive army with them to make sure, I guess, nobody assassinates them.